To the weather across the south, a round of severe storms and tornadoes left big destruction. Yeah, over the weekend, nine people died in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Virginia after 19 confirmed tornadoes touched down. This is a look at just some of that damage. And we now know that it was a tornado that touched down in Simpsonville, right in our area, ripping trees up by their roots. Cars, mailboxes, gardens, front and backyards all destroyed. But it appears everyone in our area at least is okay. We've just learned late this afternoon that that was a confirmed EF1 tornado. 7 News' Nicole Ford has been following National Weather Service crews as they investigate. She's joining us live tonight from Simpsonville. Nicole. Diane, Tom, all across the city of Simpsonville, you'll find debris like this. This debris coming from collapses like this one. I spoke to the homeowners who were inside their home, which is right behind this garage during that storm. They say they heard it collapse, and now they lost not just one, two, but three cars in a tornado they say lasted only a few minutes like a real loud swooshing sound. Brian Mitchell describes the sounds of a tornado ripping through his Simpsonville neighborhood late last night. I wasn't expecting it. Now he's cleaning up the mess left behind. I have broken fence here. Just got the big tree up that fell from the tall tree behind us here. It's done a big job. He's not alone as tree services and power crews lined Alder Drive on Monday. That tree right there, it bent down to about 10 feet over that post sticking up on the back porch. I thought it was going to come over and take my house out. National Weather Service crews went street by street studying the damage. With a tornado, you've got the winds turning around and around, so you're going to see trees lying across one another. We call that a convergent pattern. Before determining a tornado with winds up to 100 miles per hour created this path of destruction. Now, the city of Simpsonville tells us there's still about 800 people without power tonight, and they say it could take a day or two days to get all that power restored to the area. We're live in Simpsonville tonight. Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, thank you for